Today, I'm going to introduce you to Zeppelin, the collaboration tool for UI designers and developers. Zeppelin is a program for you to hand off your design assets to development. As an experienced designer, I use Zeppelin every single day to hand off my work. So to get started, you would go to the website and read a little bit about the program. Zeppelin has several different pricing options. So if you're just getting started, I would start with the free one so you can get used to it and then you can move up to the starter or growing business depending on your organization size. Zeppelin is a tool that helps designers and developers communicate by handing off design assets. So as a designer, you would have to download the Zeppelin app to upload your designs. As a developer, you could use the app-based or web-based version of it. When creating your designs, you can decide what kind of project you're going to create. Is it web, iOS, Android, or experimental? And then you can create style guides to organize all of your assets. So to get started, you would say get started right here and then create an account. I've already done that and so you would land here, which is the web-based version. So again, if you're a developer, you can just go to the website every time to look at the project. But if you're a designer, you would have to download the Mac or Windows app to get started. I already downloaded the Mac app and so when I open it up, this is what you'll see. The empty state of Zeppelin. And the prompt is to create a project. So I'm going to create a project for an app that I'm building. It's an iOS app, so I'm going to select this project. And then I'm going to go in the top corner over here and put in its name. This empty state also describes how to import files into Zeppelin. And it shows you either Sketch, Adobe, Figma, or Photoshop. When you download the Zeppelin app, their plugin will automatically appear in your sketch file. So now when I go into sketch, this is the app that I'm building for iOS and it's a voice recorder app. If I go to plugins, I see Zeppelin is already an option and allows me to export the artboards directly to the app. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab all of these artboards and go to my plugins, select Zeppelin and then say export selected. A window pops up asking me which project I want to add these artboards to. And I only have one project right now and I'm going to say import. Now jumping back into Zeppelin, I see that my artboards are already added to my project. So now let's click into one. I click into an artboard and then I see that the artboard takes up the left side of the screen and its properties will be on the right side of the screen. When I click on an element on the screen, see this blue box appears? That means that it is a clickable element that I can grab. So I'm going to click on the header right here called Voice Recorder. When I click on that element, the side panel knows the width and the height of this text field, the type of font I use, the size, the alignment, the letter spacing, and its content. The really cool thing about Zeppelin is that you can create style guides from it. Zeppelin knows all the properties of this element. If I go to this corner over here, I see this AA with the plus symbol. If I click on it, it allows me to add this element to my style guide and call it a particular name. So I'm going to call it H1. Now, every single time I see an element with the same characteristics, it will be labeled as H1. And this helps build consistency within your application. Here, if I grab this element, I see that it doesn't have the H1 tag, which means it's slightly different than this one. The difference is here is that this element is aligned in the center and this element is left aligned. So therefore, they do not have the same characteristics and wouldn't have the same class name. So here, I might call this one H1 slash left. So in this case, the developer would know that this kind of text styling is an H1, and this has the same characteristics, but it's left aligned. If I grab this element, it has a different styling associated with it. So again, I can click plus, 
and maybe call this subhead. So anywhere where that styling appears, it always refers to it as the title that I name it here. The other really cool thing is that I can let you know the spacing of every element. So if I grab an element, it tells me the width and the height of it in points because I created an iOS project and the distance from that element to its bounding wall. So here it is 20 and the relationship between this field and this field is 219 points. Again, if I click this element, it tells me the width and height and the spacing between the element and the side of the artboard. So if I grab this element, again, it tells me the width and the height of it. And if I move my cursor over, it can tell me the spacing against the button and the sides, the bottom and the left hand side. In the dashboard section of Zeppelin, I want to be very organized in how I put together all of my artboards. I'll grab my list, review, and delete screen and put them all together in a section. So grab all three, second click, new section from selection. And I will add this to list view. This other section is a recording view, so I might grab it, second click, and say new section from selection. Call it recording. Now you can always drag and move the organization of your sections. So I might grab that and have it beneath the list view. You can also use this tagging system. Right now I don't have any tags. So here I could second click on an artboard and say add tag. Maybe add list as a tag. Add detail as a tag here. And so if you use tags, you could quickly filter out different artboards in your project. So if now if I select list, the only ones associated with list will become visible. A big pro of Zeppelin is to be as organized as possible with its style guide. So here you see there's a dashboard section and a style guide section. If I go to style guide, on the left hand side are all the visual colors, textiles, and components. And on the right side, are the Swift classes that are created to help the front end developers. Right now I don't have anything added to my color palette yet, so that's still blank. But if I scroll down, the textiles I added are now here. H1 and its components, H1 left and its components, and subhead. Here you can see in the Swift code that they are added as classes. So class var H1 has the characteristics of that H1, and H1 left has its own characteristics. Next, I'm going to show you the components feature. So right now we didn't add any components yet. Components are reusable elements that you can use throughout your design system, and you create them by exporting symbols from Sketch. So in this Sketch project, I have this button that I use several times throughout the app. If I double click into it, I already made it a symbol. And so I could take this symbol and export it to Zeppelin. So I go to plugins, Zeppelin, export selected. Add it to the project. Now when I go back into Zeppelin, this button is already added as a component. And I can see that it has that same type properties and the styling of that button. So the width, the height, the radius, and the color associated with it. So now I'll add that color to my style guide. If I go back to my style guide, I see that strong pink color has been added. Going back to my dashboard, now wherever I have that button in my UI, if I select it, it automatically will bring me to that component. So if I click into it, it brings me to the component page of the characteristics of that element. This is extremely useful for your design system because it helps build consistency throughout. So now wherever I have that button, I can click it and then go to that component. So they only have to code this component once and then they can reuse it throughout the system. It's used on this page. Again, it refers to this component. 
So as your front end developer is specking out with Zeppelin, they might want to grab an image. So right now I have this delete icon and I already made it an exportable element in Zeppelin. If I go to this page and I click on this element, it doesn't have its export features and I can't export it. Why is that? It's because I didn't make it exportable from Sketch. So I have to go to Sketch and every single element that you want the developers to be able to download and use, such as images throughout your application, you would need to make them exportable. So if I zoom in, I already took this delete icon and I chose export. If I click this element, it's exportable. If I go to this page and I click on this element, it's currently not exportable. So I would need to click this and this one. And now the developers can grab these and use them in the designs. So again, I'm going to grab that recording artboard, go to plugin, Zeppelin and export. When I go to Zeppelin now and I reselect that icon, now they can download and use it. So the developers will download this as a PNG or PDF and use it inside the application. And here they can grab the sound bar. They have all the details about the colors that were put into it and the spacing from element to element. Now, what else can you do with Zeppelin? Zeppelin is a collaboration tool and a big component of that is making comments and facilitating conversation. So if you command click anywhere on the screen, this comment box now appears and I can write messages to the developers so they can understand my designs a little bit better. So here I might say, when the user presses this button, the recording page appears modally. And I can post that comment. Now, when a developer is looking at this page and working on it, they will be able to see all the comments that I left, click on it, and maybe ask a question. This comment can be resolved, edited, or deleted eventually. The last thing I want to show you is how you can share out your project. On the right hand side is a property panel for the project. It's the name, the type of project it is. You can add it to a Slack channel and you can share it here. Beneath this area right over here is the members area where if you click on this filter icon, you can send an email to a user and then they will get invited to the project. Another way is to use this share button. So if I click share, I can share the web link or the app link. Here I'm just going to copy the web link. So even if other designers, developers, or managers do not have the Zeppelin app, they can still get access to your project. This web version looks exactly like the actual app. It has the dashboard and style guide you can go to. It has all the properties and the Swift panel on the side as well. So this is a brief overview into Zeppelin. It's a great tool to help facilitate collaboration between UI designers and front-end developers. The dashboard system is great for you to lay out all your artboards and organize them. The style guide is also a great tool for you to import some components, colors, and textiles. This will help you build consistency throughout your project. So I hope you found this introduction to Zeppelin useful. Zeppelin is a tool I literally use every single day to hand off my design assets for development. Please let me know if you have any questions about this tool and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.